cabinet should be equity in the world. <laughs> Going crew and welcome back. I've got a stand up piece. Look, <laughs> welcome back to the Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. I've got the gorgeous tall girl Holly back in the workshop again. She's doing a two day stint to get her DR two hundred farm bike basically in a serviceable, rideable condition, so she can go and blast around Woodhill on it and have fun. Yeah. I reckon so. Now, previously, in the last few episodes, we did, I forget the numbers, we did the front brake, caliper, we did the disc, and we did the front wheel bearings. So we've done all that already, and I've turned the bike around the hoist, and now we're going to tackle lots of stuff at the back end of the bike. In this video, it's going to be the rear wheel bearings. In the next video, it's probably going to be something like, I don't know, oh, the rear brake shoes, probably, because they're on the way out too. So... Let's crack on because we've only got the rest of today and tomorrow to get this bike done. Um, we've got to pull out the rear wheel. It's only in there temporary. Remember on the, one of the first videos we cut through the chain and we, and we just put it in there temporarily so we could move the bike around in the hoist. So, rear wheel out, on the bench, let's get those bearings out. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, of course you are. Right, let's crack on. Here we go. Right, Holly, I've got some tools out ready just for speed and all that kind of stuff. So if you want to head over to the back of the bike you'll find the impact wrench and hopefully it's got the right socket on it as well if I've been uh, professional, which isn't normal. Okie dokie, main spindle nut if you can. Brilliant stuff. Now I'll put a box down, you can jump all the box bits in the box if you want. It's probably going to be a while before this back end goes back together to be fair. Okay, if you come around this side, we've got the brake rod and stuff to take apart as well. So. There's a 14 mil nut there, and we've got that to that wheel nut to wheel out as well. Awesome. Shouldn't be over tight to be fair. You do that one, I'll do the wheel nut. We'll speak. Look at this dual work on camera. It's fantastic, isn't it? Speed the job up because the viewers like things to be super fast, don't they, these days on YouTube? It's all like not normal speed, we're at fast speed. Yeah. Cool. Right, can you press the brake pedal down and I'll just pull that? Pull that through for us, there we go. Right, there's some more bits in your box. There you go. Cheers. Okay, so we're all free now. We can get that wheel spindle out. Um, oh, hang on, some more bits. So we've got the snail cam and a washer. Right, you ready? You can pull it this time. You ready? Yep. Drop down. Yeah. Can you use one hand to hold that wheel towards you? So you hold it at the top. That's it. There you go. You got it. Yep. That definitely needs some cleaning up, doesn't it? Okay, let's see if we're just going to tap it out. There we go. Bits everywhere! Right. Oh, we got one spindle. Put that in the box. Okay. See you next time. Luckily, you've got your safety boots on there. Yeah. Right, another one of those, another spacer. Okie dokie. Right, brake drum. We're going to be attacking that on the next video. So let's stick that on the bench, and then we've got that. Okay, action stations. You grab that. I get the wing nuts. You got it? Yeah. Okay, one wheel with completely knackered wheel bearings again. Now, because we're working on this and we're gonna be doing chain and sprocket kit later on, let's whip the sprocket off now and just get rid of that because we can you know you can actually injure yourself on these sprockets. So. Yeah. We're gonna need impact wrench and a 12 mil single hex three. It's pretty good, aren't it? Easy. I think I put the 12 back in the box because I was being tidy up person. You got it? Yeah. Cool. Oh, 
Okay, over to you. Buzz them out. Let's have that bit out of the way. Cool. We can't lose those. Very important. I want these to be probably quite specific. Nice Suzuki. Notice the lack of thread lock as well? Yeah. Pretty good, isn't it? Cheers, Mr. Mechanic. Somebody's trained you well. Oh, no, is it too tight? Try another one. Pick another one. I'll find it. There you go. I'll get something else for that. Do the trick, give that a pull. Jeez! So one was super tight, the other ones are just normal. Yeah. That'll do, you can buzz it out with your thingy now. You know. Excellent stuff. Okay. Right. Yeah, it doesn't look that old, but we are going to put a new one on, and it's got 48 teeth, so it's a, I wonder if the new one has. Who knows? Because on, on the farm bikes, I tend to gear them right down. Yeah. You know, so you get more torque. Okay, so we've got one bearing there and another bearing on this side. It's the same as the same setup as on, as on the uh, the front wheel where there's a big long tube between the two. Yeah. So we'll get some bits of wood, we'll elevate the wheel up, and then we'll attack from the other side, I think. Cool. All right, Holly, you know what to do now, don't you? Yeah. Just don't hit your fingers. Yeah, as soon as you start getting the bearing moving, it's great, isn't it? Because you can move that tube. Yeah. Right. Sometimes it's not easy just getting on that lip, isn't it? You know, on the. Yeah. Somewhere down there. There you go. See if you can kick it across a bit because you're struggling out with the with that tube. Yeah, try that. Yeah, you can hold it. <laughs> That's it. Give it a good give it a good whack. Let's try and get it started. Start, start it moving. That's it. Perfect. She's moving now, isn't it? Oh yes. That's cool. Good job. That'll make a great camera shot. You, you missed out, people. Sorry. Holy shit, look at all the rust. Look at that. That's bad. That's really bad, isn't it? That doesn't really move. <laughs> now, and that's pretty rusty as well. So we'll flick it over. And now you can do the easy bit. You can just knock that other one out. It's just getting them started, isn't it? Yeah. Get that initial movement and then they're usually all right. There's lots of, lots of crap falling out. Oh, I can see all that on the bench. Is it moving? Not sure. Shall I have a go? Shall I try and get it just to, to give up the rust? There you go. She's moving now. I heard it move. Keep going, Holly. We're nearly there.
Good job. Coming out nice and square. That's excellent. Done. Excellent. Right, Holly. I'll lift the wheel up. You grab the bearing. Look at the state of that. That's just rust on rust, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty horrific. Holy moly. Poor bike. Hasn't had any love at all, has it, this thing? It's just been ridden into the ground. Okay, well, you know the routine. We've got to clean up the hub. We've got to make sure our new bearings are the right size. So that's probably the first thing to do, actually, to see if we've got the parts to carry on. So put that on the bench and, um, well, head over to your roll cab drawer and find out if we've got the bits. Cool. Okay, I'll follow you there. Where's the parts? Dig deep, could be anywhere. Shoes. Oh, yep. Okay, we'll need those in the next video. Let's keep those handy. Rear wheel bearings. Perfect. Good job. Right. I hope they're the right ones. We've done well so far, though. We've not had any wrong bits yet, so fingers crossed. Fantastic. Right, there should be some scissors kicking around so you can get those, get those opened up. Now, first of all, are there two different size bearings? Yes. Excellent. We're halfway there. Right, so let's take a look and see if we're right. Right, Holly, you can pull them out of the packets if you want. Bearings are great, because even if you get the wrong ones, you can always put them in your drawer and use them for something else, can't you? Yeah. Okay. What do you reckon? Just pop, pop the new one or the old one on top of the new one and see if the damage is the same. Does it feel about right? Look, it yep. looks right from here. Um, what about thickness? Just slide it up against each other. So if you put it flat, put, put both flat on the bench like that one. And just put them side by side. So one down there and then just feel the... Does that feel good? Yeah. Cool. And then we need the rear wheel spindle, don't we, to check the diameter. So I'll grab that. Just an easy way of doing it if you haven't got a, a set of verniers. Yeah, that's definitely going to fit. <laughs> <laughs> it feels a tight fit. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And how about just do the just do that one while I've got the spindle. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Okay. And just check the other two dimensions. That one's good. Did that right oh, too. Well done, Ian at Derby's awesome. Derby Accessories. Got it right again. That's what I like to see. Right, Holly. If you go and grab the scriber again out of that top drawer over there. Um, I think I've chucked all the sandpaper away, so we'll need a little bit of sandpaper uh, and maybe a wire brush as well, actually, just to, just to clean it all out and get rid of all this bloody corrosion. Cool, yeah? All right, attack with the wire brush, I think, first. It doesn't look too, but you might be able to get the wire brush in there and give it a wiggle around. In actual fact, I've got a special tool bit. You carry on with that and I'll, I'll find what I need. There you go. So you just... Poke that down the hole and give it a wiggle around where the bearing sits. That's the main thing we're interested in is, is where the bearing sits. Mind your fingers there. That's all right, I'll find its way in. <laughs> That's what it was. It's all right, seriously. So good. So, so, yeah. Bring it up. I'll show you. Hang on. Right, so what we need to do is go around like that. Yep. Yep. And I'll just get all the crap out from that bearing seat. Make it a lot easier to get in. It's, not, it's easier said than done, isn't it? Yeah, I've done a lot of this before and it's hard to keep it straight. It is, it is. They're quite lively. Makes it quick though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Cool. Okay, right, I'll flick it over, I'll do it to the side. There you go. All good? Yep. Cool. We just get the scriber and just scribe because the one thing the wire brush can't do is get right into the, the shoulder. So just whiz that round with the white with the scriber and I'll just get all the rest of the crap out.
Super job. Sounds good to me. Right, I'll get a rag and give it a quick whiz round some brake cleaner. There you go. Attack, attack. Yeah, your fingers are definitely better than that than mine. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's like a new one again. It's amazing how just a few minutes of cleaning up makes all the difference, doesn't it? Yeah. Makes everything happy again. That's what I like. Right, other side. Perfect. Right, so it should look like that when you finish cleaning up. I'll give you 9.5 out of 10 for that tool girl, Holly. It's, it's pretty good. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Right, so the next thing we have to do is... Where's the sleeve we took out? That was looking really rusty, wasn't it? I've got that to clean up next. Jeez. Good stuff. I should be wearing gloves right, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. Terrible. Okay, let's get rid of all the debris. So next job is going to be... Where's that sandpaper? Here we are, look. Get that sandpaper off there. Okay, so the next job, you've got the gloves on, so it just wants a quick clean up on there, get, get the thick of the rust off. We don't want it contaminating the grease straight away, do we? No. Get that out of the way. There's scrap. You're doing a great job in the middle. <laughs> what happened to the ends? This end is pretty bad. Uh, it's not easy, is it? Do we need to chuck it in the lathe and do it in that? I think we'll do that. You reckon? Oh, that's better. Oh, this! Fucking hell. I really want to do that in the lathe. Can I do Go it ahead. in the lathe? Can I? Yeah. Have you ever used a lathe before? No. Today is the day you get to use a lathe. How cool is that? <laughs> right, grab hold of that again then, and yep. we'll get we'll get it all fired up, and we'll I'll show you how to clean it up in the lathe. Cool. All right. Okay, Holly, uh, grab your sandpaper as well. We're going to need that. Jeez. Okay, we'll do one end at a time. So we'll stick it in like that. Look, and then we can do this bit. Yeah. Now lathes are incredibly dangerous. Let me show you why. So, there we go. Okay, camera just a little. There we go. Right, so, that's a bad bit. That's a really bad bit, because it's got like, you know, that's your fingers. It's not good. But down here, this is actually quite safe. This is all right, isn't it? Yeah. So you can get your sandpaper. Now, don't, you, don't grip the, you don't grip the shaft too tight. There's a technique to this, okay? And you see how I'm just letting it pull the sandpaper around? You know, I don't want to grip it, otherwise it will pull my hand around. And we're just going to do that. Now the trick is to stay away from the nasty bit. All right, there you go. Jeez, I better have your insurance really quick. So always go in at the top and it's going to pull your hand that way. That's it. And then just keep moving it up and down like that. It's a lot easier on the bench, isn't it? Yeah. pretty good isn't it it's a lot better than it was jeez yeah. million times better than it was so we're halfway there we're gonna flick it around there we go look and now you can do that one uh, you, you might find it'll tear you might tear through the paper if it's just single thickness so uh, yeah just use a couple of fingers just to rest on top That's it.
a bit of rusty dust coming off, isn't it? For some strange reason you seem to be very good at this. <laughs> <laughs> cool, yeah. Right, let's get this out of the... Do the end? Oh, the end's dangerous. I better do the end. Because right, right. if you go along, if you, if you catch it at the bottom, it'll flick back at you. So you might see that in a second. Hang on. There we go. Cool, yeah? Right, we're going to flick it around to the other end, I suppose, won't we? Because we didn't do that. Yep. Because we were only part timers, really, aren't we? Done. Bloody good. Right, that's for you. There you go. Turn that off. Jeez. Right, Holly, what's the problem with this now? It's going to rust again. It is. It's going to rust really quickly. So, have some paint. Just some clear coat to stop it from uh, instantly corroding. So, there's a bit of cardboard. So, break clean it first. Uh, you just just a just a just a yeah rag will be fine, but whatever you want, it's all good. Whatever you want, I don't mind. I'm I'm, I'm just you know. You don't paint something without wiping. <sighs> Honestly, <laughs> you are absolutely correct to be honest, but I just like to cut corners. Problem is, it's on camera, isn't it? Yeah. Shit. Yeah, you better paint it and clean it. Paint it and stuff. This is where everything in the workshop gets covered in clear coat now, isn't it? Yeah. Try and, try and keep your can upright if you can, 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 because you're going to run out of paint otherwise. That's it. I reckon that'll do, don't you? Yep. You all there? Brilliant. Right, I'll we'll give that a few minutes. All right, Holly, while that's drying, fits well. oh, while that's drying, over there, look somewhere, we can now uh, put one of the bearings in, can't we? I reckon. Okay, let's do that. Because we've got so much to do today. I reckon that one will do. Do that one first. Uh, which one's that one? Must be the small bearing, is it? Yes, it should be, because it's the long drive side. Okay, so what are you not to do? Where's your hammer? That dog. But we need a socket, don't we, the right size? Yeah. Let me go and find you a socket the right size. How's that? There you go. All yours. Cool. Doink. Oh, that's looking pretty good for this side. Yep. A bit more on this side here, look. You can only have a socket once it's flush. You switched to beat the crap out of it uh, technique, didn't you? That's good. I can see what you're doing there. You're, you're doing it evenly. That's bang on. Right, there you go then. One socket. Keep going until it makes a funny noise. Still going? I think the old one was flush, wasn't it? When it was in? I think so. Give it another whack just for, just for fun. Yeah, that's definitely down. Cool, that's that one done. So we'll flick it over. And if you're really professional, oh, we need to put some grease in there. Okay, where's the grease? 
There, look, my old hedge out tin. Right, you've got the gloves, so post some grease down the hole, I think, as far as you can. I might grab a little screwdriver actually, so you can scoop a load in there. Because you know what they say, plenty of lube. You were waiting for that, were you? Yeah, yeah look, it's good. That was, um, that's pretty good. You did a good job there. So I'm going to try and get a bit more down the bottom. Oh, yeah, there's loads in there now. You've got more in there than I thought. Jeez, he said. Right. Stick it around there as well. Okay, now. Time for a tube. I think it's dry yet. I think it's dry enough yet. No. Put it there. It's not dry at all, actually, is it? No. Blow on it. It'll go. It'll dry quicker. Brilliant. It's dry now. All right, we'll stick it in there. There we are. Brilliant stuff. Okay. Next job, other bearing. Cool. <laughs> Things we do to camera. Okay. Now, this one definitely sits below the surface, doesn't it? Because it's quite a deep shoulder on there. Yeah. Okay. All yours. You know, sometimes you get that one bearing that just does nothing but cockle from one side to the other, it just will not stand. It can be a real pain. Braces are real better for that. Yeah. And that sinking feeling as well when you put the bearing and it just it just drops in. Yep. Yeah. Oh. That's going to be too small. It is. Yeah, it is too small. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get a big one. Hang on. Um, probably just draw here, actually. Try that one, as long as it's not too big. What do you think? Too big? I think that's going to get jammed. Yeah. How about that one? That should just do it. Yeah. Good job. It's at the bottom already. You can be there actually. Just try it a bit on this side as well. Yes. Done. I mean, obviously, when we tighten the wheel spindle up, it's going to pull it into where it needs to be anyway. But it's nice to get it about right, isn't it? Yeah, those are really easy. <laughs> yeah, well, um, some of the bikes, some of the Honda bikes that Ben's been working on over the last sort of year, because we bought a big batch of them, um, a lot of the bearings have worn in the hub. Yep. Yeah, the actual hubs had worn so that you couldn't actually you put a bearing in it, it was just all loose. Hub was scrap, couldn't do anything with it. Sure. Yeah, so there's quite a few of the bikes they couldn't actually repair because of that. So they just use them as donor bikes, you know, parts. But that, that seems to be one of the uh, it was a common fail. Yeah. Was that was the the bearings would seize up and then just spin in the hub mm. and then wear the hub out. And that's you know, the, these are not cheap because to be fair, they would probably just try and buy a complete wheel yep. rather than um a hub spoke kit and a, and a rim because it's bloody expensive to get wheels laced up these days you know if you don't know what you're doing you can't do it yourself it gets pretty pricey coolio right where is the wheel spindle again can i have a read it right so we need to clean this up and then we can pop it through and line up that tube ready for installation later on so if you give that a bit of a break clean and then we'll get some sandpaper on it and we could even check on the lathe again we see this all set up yep that'll be quick There's lots wrong with the rear suspension bushes, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. 
here. Oh, you're on it, look at that. You're a pro. There's nothing better than cleaning out some threads, is there? No. <laughs> it's good. It's a good feeling. Much better at being with a wire brush than a tap and dice it. Oh, hell yeah. Way better. Right. Do you want to put it in the lathe or not? Do we need to? For the rest of it, might be a good idea. Cool. <clears throat> Hopefully, hopefully. Right. Look at that homemade chuck spanner key thing. Look at it. It's nearly broken. You see how it's twisted, look? Yeah. I got a bit aggressive one day. I think so whatever it was started to spin in it. Now. Like, no. Okay. You got some sandpaper? Yeah. Right. It's quite long, so just be careful, that's all. Wow, that's bent, isn't it? I wonder if it's not in the chuck broken. No, I think it's actually bent. I think it's bent, isn't it? Which would explain why it was hard to get out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's not good. We need another one. Can't refit that, can we? No. And the people are going to want to see how bent that is. Look at the camera. Time to get the DTI gauge for that. <laughs> Definitely not. Look at this! That's not straight, is it? Look, it's all over the place. Holly, we're not using that. No. That's terrible. But it added to the list of parts we need. Oh, holy moly, this project's getting real expensive now. Well, bugger me, as Baldrick would say. <sighs> you see, if we hadn't put it in the lathe, we wouldn't have known, would we? Yeah. So it's always a good thing to Put your shaft in your lathe, is what I say. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, honestly, get worse. Um, the video is done. We, I mean, end of the day, we have shown you how to install rear wheel bearings to a hub, a rear wheel on a motorcycle, haven't we? Yep. We've done it. And all I need to do really is jiggle around with that center tube to make sure it's lined up before we finally put it in the bike. Fortunately, I've got a couple of weeks Whoa, what's that? That's number three for today, isn't it? <sighs> Holly doesn't like bugs, do you, Holly? Really don't. What, what is it, do you think? Is it a death? One of those wasps that kills on instant, instant sting? Uh, it's yeah. either another wasp or a really big fly. Ah, it could be a big fly. It looks stupid. Oh, oh it's, it's a, a beetle. <laughs> it's a green thing. You don't mind green things, do you? Stink bug. <laughs> is that what they are? Stink yeah. bugs? Okay. I don't know what they're actually called. <laughs> we'll call it a stink bug. That'll do. But yeah, they do attack you, little bastards. It's straight at you sometimes. Anyway, enough of the wildlife around here. Um, <clears throat> so I've got a few weeks before I'm going to be reassembling this bike completely so I can get one of these rear wheel spindles on order from Suzuki. And I'm sure Phil's motorcycles in Matamata will do be a fantastic price, will you, Jody? I'm sure you will. Right, okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know I did. It's good fun working with you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, if you did, why not click on the subscribe button? You'll see a little gear icon turn up, click on that, and you can tick the box. Turn on notifications, ring the bell, whatever you need to do, so that YouTube will send you an email as and when I upload any new videos. You'll also find me on... Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. That's exactly right. You will. All of those things. Uh, if you fancy donating, then you can do that through Patreon or through the PayPal system as well. My email for PayPal is down the bottom. If you want to send me an email, you can do that as well. I can't guarantee a reply. I can't guarantee I'll have the answer to your diagnostic problem, but I'll do my very best to get back to you. Uh, what else? I think that's about it, really. We've got to crack on with the next video because we've got heaps to do. Yeah. What's next, Holly? I can't remember. What is it? Brake shoes. Brake shoes! Yes, we've already taken out the rear brake um, plate that holds the brake shoes. I'm going to pull those apart and show you how to very quickly fit the new ones because it's actually not a difficult job. So we'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye from Andy Mechanic. And goodbye and from Togo Holly. It is. See you around, crew. Cheers. And we
you get the Oh! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 